You've just started listening to Player's Guide, the third episode of the second year of Welcome to Fairmont. Thanks for tuning in with us today as we continue our story. Welcome to Fairmont is a WKET production written and produced by Alana Orion and myself, Colleen Fries. If you want to see what came before this, you can look us up on YouTube as Welcome to Fairmont. And hey, thanks for listening. Listening to us again at 98.3 WKET. As usual, I'm Harmony. I'm Psyche. We're going to start today with the top story out of our news bulletin. You may remember that last time we shared the new menu with you from the coffee shop around the corner. Well, today we've received word that the popular store has seen an influx of strangely tall customers all wearing trench coats and ordering an all-natural grass cafe fe with horse milk and topped with goat milk whipped cream and live grubs in the largest possible size. The faces of these individuals are as unknown as their origins. Still, we hope that these visitors are enjoying their drinks. We'll keep you updated on this if anything changes. In other news, we have a foreign exchange student coming from the Roman Empire to Fairmont. We don't know anything as of yet, but I'm sure there will be more information before long. You know, the show's become so much easier to put on since we started paying attention to the bulletin board. Well, it helps that the bulletin board is actually being updated more frequently now, and not only by Lydia, but also the other station workers. We've also been able to increase our social media presence since the merge, which does help us hear about things such as the strangers at the coffee shop, for instance. Well, what about the information I give you? <sighs> Always with the appearing. Yes, of course you've helped us out a lot, but that's nothing new, unlike the bulletin board and social media. Um, Misty, is, is that a goat? This isn't just any goat. This is little Jeff, my favorite goat. Yeah, okay, but is that a goat in the station? What in existence made you think that was a good idea? Well, haven't you heard? The goats in the area have started going missing, and I already don't know where Daniel and Frank went, so I promised little Jeff that I wouldn't take my eyes off him until this all cleared up. Look at him. He's terrified. He's eating our carpet. Jeff, stop eating the carpet! Anyway, I came to tell you that there's been another prophecy concerning someone who probably works for your station. What? Who? I can't rightly say, but it isn't either one of you. This was much more vague than the last one, but it's probably someone undead. And definitely someone who's been on air before. Well, that doesn't much help. That could be any one of a number of our people. About half of us are undead? That's all I know about them right now, but I know that they're going to fight against bad odds to instigate change. This is literally the plot of almost every prophecy ever. Oh, you're not wrong, but I figured I'd let you know the right way this time, since you still seem to be annoyed about the last one. Well, no kidding we're still annoyed about the last time we could have died. But you didn't. Speak for yourself, but we digress. Listeners, it seems that our top story today has been surpassed by Misty's news and her goat. Did you at least clear little Jeff with the director? Who am I kidding? Of course you didn't. I've given up on caring at this point. Just don't let him keep eating our carpets and make sure he doesn't pee on the floor. Of course. You know, since you're here, why don't you tell our listeners about what it means for there to be a new prophecy? Of course. To begin with. Prophecies are glimpses into the future, and they're very rare, also inconsistent. But when I get a new one, it's like a flash of a moment with everything happening all at once, so it's really hard to interpret everything. But if it's a really important prophecy, the vision might repeat inconsistently until it comes to pass. I don't know about this one yet, but I think it'll be important to you. Okay, but where do prophecies come from? They come from the gods, obviously, but there are really very few people who get them. Only about one in 3,000, and I think there are a number of us who don't know what it is they're experiencing. I see. Thanks for sharing, Misty. Listeners, we're going to take you now to the weather. Carmody? Hello, listeners. This is Carmody with your weather. It looks like today will be a lot like yesterday, foggy and cool with the chance of seeing unusual things. You should expect the sun to set early today, though it's likely that you won't be able to tell with all the gray in the air. Now back to Harmony and Psych with some public service announcements. We all hear that self-care is important, 
I'm Harmony, and I'm here to tell you about one of my favorite self-care techniques, meditation. With meditation, you too can get lost in the web of your mind. Never come out of the mazes of thoughts and regrets. They'll pull the plug soon. Meditation. Clear your mind. Hello, listeners. We wanted to let you know that we here at WKT don't believe in social media. Or any media, for that matter. Wait, does that mean we don't believe in ourselves? Oh, jeez, that's not the message we meant to send with this. Sorry. Anyway, follow us on all your social media platforms at FHS Media. We don't believe in ourselves either. Hello again, everyone. During the break, we lost Misty again. There was some incoherent exclamation before she did her typical vanishing act on us. We also got details on the disappearing goats that Misty mentioned from Lydia. She handed me a note which reads... Goat disappearances continue across the Fairmont area. It's suspected that they're either plotting with their hive minds or they're being stolen as they seem to be disappearing in sets of three. I hope those goats turn up soon. We all know about all of the things in the woods that like to make people and livestock disappear. On a different note, there are record numbers of customers at the coffee shop around the corner, most of whom are the mysterious tall strangers in trench coats. Word is, they're beginning to run low on grubs as they weren't in any way prepared for this huge influx of customers ordering them. Sorry to derail this again, but I've been thinking about Misty's prophecy. There are really only two people I can think of who it could be about. Lydia and Carmody. Exactly. They're really the only two undead who work for the station and have been on air before. So I wonder which of them it is. I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. Yeah, we will. And we'll be certain to keep all of you informed as well. This could be a major event in our community, and I'm sure it would behoove us to share it. Agreed. Before we wrap it up for the day, I think we should remind everyone about the annual book swap to be held in the old gym this weekend and the weekend after next. Make sure you get out to support that community event if you're able. Also, a shout out to the seniors in the band who are participating in the (coughs) even as we speak. You may remember our guest, one of the band cultists who joined us on this show a few weeks ago, so good luck to them. Uh, Harmony looks like she's wanting to say something. So, I just got a text from Lydia. One of the mysterious tall strangers just tripped and felt the coffee shop around the corner. Are they okay? Yeah, but that's that's not the important part. Uh, It turns out they were actually a stack of three goats wearing a trench coat. Did not see that coming. We have no details about how, or actually, as a matter of fact, why, but we're out of time. We'll let you know of any further developments next time. Until then, happy nightmares. Welcome to Fairmont is a WKAT production produced and performed by Colleen Frieza Psyche and Alana Orion as Harmony, and the voicing talents of Cameron Knopf as Jack Carmody and McKenna Kramer as Misty. Thanks again for tuning in with us. It means a lot. Make sure you listen again in two weeks when we will release our fourth episode of the year, Sense. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at FHS Media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Welcome to Fairmont, so you can catch up on last year and stay updated on our latest content. Thanks. Happy nightmares.